Now let us discuss the topic lines and angles. So you know the examples of lines from our day to day life. The edge of the blackboard it is in the shape of a line segment or a line and the edge of the textbook and edge of the table. So these are the examples of line or line segment from day to day life. Now what is the difference between the line segment and a line? Now first let us see the line segment. Now it has two end points. The end points are the set of points in a straight way between A and B including A and B. So this is the line segment and it has two end points and it has a definite length. Now the line segment AB is denoted by AB or we can say BA. So here both AB and BA line segment both this both represented the same line segment AB and it has two end points on either side and it has a definite length. Now what is a line? Now if a line segment can be extended on either side either direction indefinitely so then the figure so formed is called a line. Now here the line segment A to B from A to B it can be extended in both the direction indefinitely. So this figure is called a line. So the line AB is represented by AB line AB or B. Now it has no end points on either side because it can be extended indefinitely on both the sides. So it has no end points on either side and it has no definite length. A line has no definite length but whereas a line segment has a definite length. Now what is a ray? It has only one end point and it can be extended on one side. So the end point or the initial point is represented by A here and it can be extended indefinitely towards B. So the ray AB is denoted by AB but not BA because we should mention the first the initial point and the next in which direction it can be extended. And if you write the another ray BA the end point or the initial point of the ray BA is B and it can be extended in the direction towards A. So this is represented by BA. Now let us see what is an angle. So an angle means the join of two rays with a common end point is called an angle. Now how to take the join or intersection of two rays? Now for example the ray OB and another ray OA. Now this is the join of two rays with the common end point O. So this is called an angle represented by angle AOB or angle BOA. So here the two rays OA and OB are the two rays. So these two rays are joined together with the common end point O. Because O is the end point of OA ray and as well as O is the end point of OB ray. Now this is a join of two rays with the common end point. Now this is called an angle. So this can be represented by an angle AOB or angle BOA or simply we can say angle O. And here the common end point O is called the vertex of the angle. So here O is called 
vertex of the angle and the rays which form the angle the two rays which form the angle so your oa ob these two rays are called this oa ray and ob ray so these two rays are called arms or sides of the angle so the two rays which form the angle are called arms or sides of the angle now if two lines intersect pq line and rs line if the two lines intersect at the point o now how many angles are formed there so there are four angles formed here so angle p o s angle s o q so this is the first angle the second angle angle s o q angle q o r this is the third angle then angle r o p so this is the fourth angle here o is the common vertex of all the four angles and here four angles are formed when the two lines intersect so these four angles are represented by 1 2 3 4 and here o is the common vertex of the four angles here angle p o s can also be represented as angle s o p and angle s o q s o q can be represented as angle q o s so these both are same angle q o r can also be written as angle r o q so this equals angle r o q then angle r o p can also be written as angle p o r now for example the measure of angle a o b is 30 degrees so actually we write measure of angle a o b equals to 30 degrees but instead of writing measure of angle a o b so in this chapter we write angle a o b equals to 30 degrees so here angle a o b equals to 30 degrees represents the measure of angle a o b is 30 degrees for example angle p o s so if measure of angle p o s is 110 degrees then we write simply angle p o s equals to 110 degrees